Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to take this golf ball and turn it into a butterfly. So all I have is this golf ball and some acrylic paint. Now I would prefer to spray paint it, but it's too cold here for me to do that outside. So I have just this acrylic paint instead, and we'll do that. And it's in a nice pale yellow. Now I have a lot of dark spots on here with the writing, and there's just a dark spot on there that couldn't be cleaned off. So this is going to take two, maybe three coats just to be able to cover it. So I'm just going to do some nice thick coats. And I have a water bottle cap that it's going to sit on so it doesn't roll away while I'm painting it. And the other thing I have is this, um, it's, it's either a wood bead or a dowel cap. I think the beads are the ones that have the holes all the way through. So I'm going to paint that the same color. The golf ball is dry and so is the, um, the wooden ball. And I have my Dremel tool and I'm just going to quick drill a hole into the golf ball. And then I'm going to do the same with the wooden head. I have a little eye screw that I'm going to use. You can see it. Since I don't have an eye screw that fits all the way through the bottom here and into the golf ball like I'd hoped, um, I just put the the eye screw up through the top and I'm going to drill a bigger hole into the top of the golf ball. Now I have a skewer stick and I'm going to stick that in there like that so that will be nice and tight. Now that I know that it fits I'm going to put some glue down there so that when I put that skewer stick in it is going to stay there. Okay now I'm going to put it in Press it down, there's going to be some glue that comes up, which is no big deal. And then I'm going to cut, oh, probably here. Now we just need to put some glue into the dowel head like I just did. And I also have some hot glue. And I'm going to run the hot glue around the base here. And this will keep everything in place while I'm working on other stuff and that other glue is drying. So we have a little bit of glue coming out, both the hot glue and the other glue. No more glue should come out of there and it should dry very well. So my plan for the butterfly is to be pink and yellow because I like that color combination. And I'm going to just lay him down here and draw wings. And even trace the edge of the golf ball. So that gives me a nice guide. Oops. See? Luckily we hot glued it too. Now I'm going to just trace it so we have wings for the other side. Now we have butterfly wings and we need to attach it. So I'm going to put it like this. These bottle caps come in quite handy and I'm going to use hot glue. I'm going to run it along the inside edge here. You want to be neat but don't, don't fret. You're going to have glue showing for now but don't worry we will take care of that. So just hold it until it hardens. Put on the other one. So I'm going to stay with the pink theme and I have this color pink fine glitter. It could be any fine glitter and obviously whatever color scheme you're going with. I'm going pink and I'm using the ultimate glue because it has a nice tip for me to get the detail that I want. And I'm going to run it along where the hot glue is, just like this. And just like this. And if you have a finer tip glue, you can do that. But this is going to add a little more stability to just the hot glue. Sometimes the hot glue doesn't hold that well. And I'm going to just sprinkle it right on. And I'm working on a piece of paper so that I can pour off any excess and then put the excess back into the container. All right, so I'm going to go around the edges of the wings. And just remember being on the edge can be a little bit drippy, so hit it from the other side as well. And if you have a big goopy spot like that, kind of lift it, get rid of it, and add some more glitter. So I'm going to do that on this side and I might add some polka dots and then I'm going to also 
outline the back side again also just to to give it a finished look on the back side this is what we have so far the glitter is still drying the glue and the glitter is still drying I need to drill a couple of holes for the antenna and then I have to add some eyes I'll need to do a little touch-up painting on there but no biggie and then I have some silver wire straighten it out somewhat stick it in and then I'm gonna take my good old skewer stick and I'm gonna wrap this wire around wrapping it around the skewer stick just to give it that curly cue at the end okay I'm gonna dip the ends of the antenna in glue and put them in so here's our little butterfly it's all dry and I just have a little wire on there to hold it but you could put some fishing line on there so you wouldn't see it and you could just hang it um, I also took I also added a couple googly eyes and took a sharpie marker and just made a little smile. Be sure to let me know what you think of the golf ball butterfly in the comments below and while you're here be sure to check out some of my other golf ball creations. I got a bunch of them. As always you guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and to take the time to make comments and to subscribe and to like and to share. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We will definitely see you next time. In the meantime stay safe and happy crafting.